Hugh got Carl Hilgar is the chief engineer for Leyland Trucks. Carl, it must be a bit of a challenge putting an electric truck into a diesel chassis. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, th there are a number of things that do uh, translate and uh, carry over from the diesel, such as uh, you know steering, brakes, uh, suspension. We're still going to have to have that with an electric truck. Uh, we chose a powertrain top topology uh, where we retained the axle and had a central drive electric motor, direct drive. Um, so a lot, a lot of things we were able to leverage from the diesel platform, the, the, which is a, a great starting point uh, on the LF. Uh, but clearly there are some things that are different. Uh, I mentioned the electric motor, the direct drive electric motor. Uh, is, is replacing the diesel engine. Uh, we have no transmission here. Uh, we have no fuel tanks, obviously. Instead, we have uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries. So yeah, definitely there were some things that were different. Uh, and then of course we have the orange cables, as we call them, the high voltage cables that uh, uh, that was frankly new to us uh, with all this. So it's been, it's been an interesting yeah, I bet journey. it's been a bit of a challenge to go on the electric side and all this during COVID, I presume, this is what, when you did it? Yeah, uh, exactly. You're absolutely right. We started this development early in 2020 and uh, did the early development yeah. while a good portion of the people were working from home. So came together on Microsoft Teams, as, as many others, uh, and really designing the truck uh, uh, through that initial period. And then as time progressed we got into more of the physical hardware and the prototypes and the testing and and by that time of course a lot of the people had come back what was a major challenge what, what if you were to, to pick one thing that made you worry at night not worry at night but certainly scratch your head a bit more as a as team of engineers what was the one that was really uh, something that was really interesting for you as an engineer first of all i would say we we were we are fortunate to work with an extremely talented and experienced team we've built trucks here at leyland for the last 125 some years uh, starting with steam powered trucks then we went to petrol then we went to diesel and here we are in front of an electric truck so we were able to leverage all of that experience uh, that said though an electric truck um, built to this to this quality that we've been able to accomplish is is a challenge and uh, understanding the batteries and how they work electric motors direct drive motors doing that in such a short uh, period of time was, was certainly a, a challenge. And where do you see the future now? Because obviously there's a lot going on. Yeah, there's going to be developments on the battery chemistry, of course. Batteries are going to get uh, uh, less expensive, more powerful, more reliable in the future. And uh, you're going to see developments on uh, electric motors and integrated transmissions, inverters. So all that, uh, yeah, we live in exciting times. Uh, with that, I doubt, and I think, uh, well, I mean, when you're looking at in terms of, I know it's a DC it, up to 150 kilowatts in terms of power at the moment and 22 kilowatts on AC, uh, do you see that developing as well? Yeah, so for charging, we, we offer two options here. We could do uh, sort of low power AC charging, three phase, uh, 22 kilowatt. That'll take you, uh, for, this, for this size truck with a 282 kilowatt hour battery, uh, that'll take you about uh, 12 hours to, to fully charge. Um, whereas if you go with a fast charger, which we have here, you can charge up to 150 kilowatt DC and you'll be fully charged in less than two hours. A lot of people don't recognize that trucks have very different requirements from, from cars. Uh, what we're talking here is, is, a, is a workhorse. It's a revenue generator, a, a truck is. Uh, as opposed to a car that you perhaps drive for an hour a day and, and then it's sat in a parking lot for most of the time. We need a lot of um, uh, high cycle life yeah. on these types of batteries. That's a little bit different than the uh, automotive industry. And one final question I've got to ask you. Obviously, it's a rigid truck. We need to power things off the EPTO is really important in, that, in this sort of sector now. Yeah, what? I think that's also a great story with this product is that we have a uh, uh, an EPTO that is able to power a refrigerated body. Uh, in fact, we have some in operation for, for the NHS uh, that uh, carry uh, medical supplies that need to be cooled down to minus 25 degrees C. And we're able to do that with an EPTO without having a separate generator. Okay, that's great, Carl. Thank you very much for your time. Absolutely. Bye-bye. My pleasure.